Welcome sa course natin kung saan pag-aaralan natin to Loads and Load Combination sa course na Principles of Steel Design. Dito pag-aaralan natin yung mga loads na relatively common sa isang structure at pwede ma-experience ng isang steel structure. In general, mayroong dalawang klase ng loads. Gravity loads at environmental loads. At yung gravity loads, pwedeng i-divide pa into dead at live loads. Una yung dead loads. Based sa NSCP or National Structural Code of the Philippines 2015, Section 4, dead loads consist of the weight of all materials of construction incorporated into the building or other structure, including but not limited to walls, floors, roofs, ceilings, stairways, built-in partitions, finishes, cladding, and other similarly incorporated architectural and structural items, and fixed service equipment including the weight of cranes. At kay segi or segui, dead loads are those that are permanent including the weight of the structure itself, which is sometimes called the self-weight. In addition to the weight of the structure, dead loads in a building include the weight of non-structural components such as floor coverings, partitions, and suspended ceilings. Makormak and Cherna. Dead loads are loads of constant magnitude that remain in one position. They consist of the structural frame's own weight and other loads that are permanently attached to the frame. For a steel frame building, the frame, walls, floors, roof, plumbing, and fixtures are dead loads. Ito yung mga pagkakatulad ng mga definition na yun. So weight of the structure itself, self-weight, at kumbaga kapag ginify natin kung ano yung structure, yung mga components niya. Alam niyo mga ngayon. So walls, floors, roof, ceiling, stairways, built-in partitions, finishes, cladding, floor coverings, partitions, suspended ceilings, tapos yung mga architectural and structural items, fixed service equipment. Yung mga na-define na components na yun, pwedeng gawa sa mga materials na to. At kung magiging conservative ka na designer or gagamit ng some softwares or kakumpitin manually na magpe-permit ng pag-input or pag-consider per density per material, para yung unit dito naka uh, pang-unit weight. So ito yung mga pwedeng gamitin na values para sa density ng materials na yun which will then be translated to loads. At yung nasa table sa right side, table 204-2, area loads naman na naka uh, kilopascals. Next naman na gravity load, live loads. Kung yung dead load, ang pinaka main na concept or definition, fixed na loads. So opposite naman yung live loads. Based sa NSCP 2015, yung mga definitions, live loads are those loads produced by the use and occupancy of the building or other structure and do not include dead load, construction load, or environmental load. Live loads shall be the maximum loads expected by the intended use or occupancy but in no case shall be less than the loads required by this section, so yung section 205. Ang main point dito, kung ano yung use or occupancy na intended para sa space or functional areas ng structure, so meron tayong accompanying table sa NCP, yun yung gagamitin. At kay SEGI, live loads which can also be gravity loads are those that are not as permanent as dead loads. They may or may not be acting on the structure at any given time and the location may not be fixed. Examples of live loads include furniture, equipment, and occupants of buildings. Okay, Makormak and Chernak. Live loads are loads that may change in position and magnitude. They are caused when a structure is occupied, used, and maintained. Live loads that move under their own power, such as trucks, people, and cranes are said to be moving loads. Those loads that may be moved are movable loads such as furniture and warehouse materials. So nang examples sa live loads according to Makormak and Chernak, floor loads. Ito yung may table sa NSCP na nabanggit kanina. 
traffic loads for bridges. Sa strength of materials, may topic doon tungkol sa moving loads at sa transportation engineering. Yung wheel loads sa trucks or trains or vehicle in general. Next ay yung impact loads. Meron din ito sa subject na strength of materials. Pwedeng dahil sa vibration ng moving or movable loads. Pwedeng example nito yung movement ng elevator or yung pag-bounce ng vehicle sa uneven part ng bridge. Number 4, longitudinal loads. Dahil naman sa sudden stop ng vehicle or moving objects over bridges or structures in general. Number 5, other live loads. Sa other live loads, una yung soil pressure. Meron na sa NSCP, 2015, section 9. Or yung lateral earth pressure. Hydrostatic pressures. Or water pressure. Pwedeng sa dams or uplift force sa foundations. Blast loads, explosions, sonic booms, or military weapons. Thermal forces, change in temperature. Kapag mas mataas yung temperature compared sa production or manufacturing temperature ng isang object or material, ang tendency ay mag-expand, mag-result ng structural deformation. Gaya nga nang napag-aralan sa strength of materials. Or mag-compress naman kung relatively mas mababa yung temperature. At yung number 5, centrifugal forces. Kapag naman may curvature or curve na part yung structure. Ito yung mga tables para sa live loads, specifically para sa floor loads. Maran din para sa impact force ng cranes at yung para sa horizontal loads. Pattern loading. Sana sa structural analysis na encounter nyo itong concept na to. Yung concept dito, yun yung arrangement ng live loads kung saan mapoproduce yung maximum possible stresses. Particularly sa continuous beam. Pwede kasi na apply na lang sa buong structure ng live load. Pero dahil sa concept na to, may kita na kapag ina-apply yung loads at certain arrangement, commonly nga yung checkerboard pattern or alternate yung pag-apply ng live load, most commonly doon magpo-produce ng maximum possible stresses. Next ay yung mga environmental loads. Una, yung wind loads na nasa section 207 ng NSCP. I suggest na mapag-aralan nyo to in depth. Marami rin kasi. Next, yung earthquake loads na nasa section 208. Rain loads na nasa section 210 at flood loads sa section 211. At ito nga yung sa wind loads. Medyo marami nga to. Sana mapag-aralan nyo sa structural analysis. Next naman yung earthquake loads. So section 208. Yung soil lateral loads na nabanggit kanina na nasa section 209. At yung rain at flood loads. Next na topic, yung mga design philosophies. Ang goal sa pagdadesign ng isang structure, unang-una, dapat safe. Pangalawa, dapat economical. Economical in a sense na bagaan lang yung structure. Less dead load na, less material pa. Kaya less yung cost. Economical. Dapat yung available strength ng structure, mas mataas sa required strength based dun sa loadings. Or pwedeng sinet na mode of failure or failure conditions. Merong generally tatlong design philosophies. Allowable strength design or ASD, plastic design, at load and resistance factor design or LRFD. Pero yung plastic design at LRFD nag-overlap sila kasi tulad sila ng concept. At una, yung ASD or allowable strength design. Yung allowable strength equal sa nominal strength or yung theoretical strength. Pwedeng based sa material na ginamit. At yung cross-sectional area properties, pwedeng area, moment of inertia, section modulus, may mga ganun. Over safety factor. Yung strength na yun, pwedeng actual force strength. So in terms of the area, tsaka yung material. For tension or compression members, flexural strength, or shear strength. 
kapag naman stress yung consider, allowable stress design naman yung tawag doon. Or elastic design. Or working stress design. At yung working stresses galing sa working loads or yung applied loads or service loads. In this procedure, the capacity is determined by dividing the nominal capacity R sub N with a factor of safety omega sub N. This reduced capacity is not to go below the service loads or forces. I think equation natin yung uh, so yung R N or yung nominal capacity divides sa factor of safety yung omega N. Yung N, yun yung type ng force. So, kahit anong type ng force yan. Pwede yung kanina, yung axial, flexure, shear. Tapos yung should be greater than dun sa QI or yung load. Next, plastic design. Based on a consideration of failure conditions rather than working load conditions. Dito naman, hindi dahil sa expected load, kundi sa failure condition na consider Pwede yung failure collapse or extremely large deformations. Kung naaalala pa sa unang lecture dun sa stress strain diagram, yung plastic range na tinatawag kasi subjected sa large strain yung members analysis na ganito. Kapag na-reach na nung buong section at naging plastic na, sana nagka-idea na kayo nito sa strength of materials para kung wala pa, may lecture tayo para dito. Yung nade-develop, yung plastic hinges at nagkakaroon ng collapse mechanism. May term pa dito yung load factor or yung multiplier ng discrepancy or difference ng actual load sa loads na magkakos ng failure. Sa so LRFD na lang natin discuss to. So LRFD, same ng concept dun sa plastic design. Yung mga load factors, multiply sa service loads. Tapos yung strength or theoretical strength ng member. So, re-reduced or babawasan ng tinatawag na resistance factor. At dapat yung resistance multiplied ng resistance factor, mas mataas dun sa summation ng loads, kung anumang klaseng load yon multiplied sa corresponding load factor. Yung load factor, more than 1. Usually, dahil nga, mas mataas yung factored load compared sa service load. At dahil i-reduce yung strength or resistance, Less than 1 naman yung resistance factors. In LRFD, the capacity of the section, member, or system is based on the nominal capacity R sub N, which is reduced by applying resistance factor phi sub N. This gives the ultimate capacity which should not be less than the factored forces on the section, member, or system. So ito naman yung equation. So, V sub N times R sub N. So, may resistance factor yung nominal capacity for type force N. Tapos, may load factor yung load na Q sub I. Yung mga factor loads, kaya nga factor, kaya nang nabanggit kanina, i-consider yung failure condition or atong limit state. Kung baga, marireach na yung limit of the structure's intended function. Yung mga limit states, pwede strength limit states. Define the load carrying capacity, including excessive yielding, fracture, buckling, fatigue, and gross rigid body motion. In serviceability limit states naman, define performance, including deflection, cracking, slipping, vibration, and deterioration. At yung mga limit states na yun, it must be prevented. Next naman, yung load combinations. So dahil meron tayong iba't ibang klasing loads, ang gagawin natin doon, ipagkocombine natin sila. So sa NSCP, meron mga suggested na a load combination sa mga to. At yung mga notation doon, so symbols na ginagamit. So D for dead load, E for earthquake load, F, load due to fluids with well-defined pressures and maximum heights, H, load due to lateral pressure of soil and water in soil, L yung live load, except roof live load, including any permitted live load reduction. L sub R, yun yung roof live load. P, ponding load. R, rain load on the undeflected roof. T, self-straining force and effects arising from contraction or expansion resulting from temperature change, shrinkage, moisture change, creep in component materials, movement due to differential settlement, or combination thereof. W, yung load due to wind pressure. 
So, for LRFD, ito yung basic load combinations. So, may computation tayo para dito may sample problem tayo para magamit natin to. Para naman sa ASD or Allowable Strength Design. So, ito naman yung basic load combinations. At para naman sa alternate basic load combinations. So, when using this alternate basic load combinations, one-third increase shall be permitted in allowable stresses for all combinations, including W and E. So, sample problem. A certain bracing system is subjected to the following loads. So, ang meron tayo dito, dead load, uh, live load, roof live load, rain load, wind load, pati yung earthquake load. Required yung factor load capacity for LRFD at saka yung required na ASD load capacity. So, una yung sa LRFD. Ito yung mga load combinations kanina. Tapos, substitute natin yung mga values. So, straightforward naman, no? So, yung una, 1.4 times D plus F. So, yung D, 59.16. Yung F, wala. Tapos, yung sa pangalawa, 1.2 times D, which is 59.16, plus F plus T. So, 0 parehas, plus 1.6. Tapos, yung L na 30.69, plus 0. Walang H, plus 0.5 na LR or R. So, 5.78 parehas. Tapos, yung sa pangatlo, so 1.2 times D, Plus 1.6 LR or R. So, tulad lang yun na 5.78. So, may tatlo tayong equation. Kasi yung una, dun sa F1 times L. Yung F1, uh, 1 yung value niya kapag greater than 4.8 or mga assembly areas. Yung sa live loads. Pero dahil dito, so 30.69 kN. So, 4.8 kN. So, dito, so 30.69 kN, kaya 0.5 yung gagamitin natin. Yun yung sa una. Tapos yung sa pangalawa, dahil or, so 0.5 ng wind load. Yung wind load naman, pwedeng dalawang direction yung panggalingan niya. Dahil wala naman sinabi na 3D analysis to. So, assume natin na plain lang to na 2D. So, positive and negative lang. Dalawa lang na direction. Wala tayo dun sa isa pang axis. So, negative yung isa, yung isa positive na lang. So, negative 669.90, tsaka yung positive 669.90 na wind load. Tapos dun sa pang-apat na load combination, so dalawang equation lang. Tulad lang din naman yung LR, tsaka yung R. Pero yung wind load, so may positive at negative ulit. Sa pang-lima, ganun din yung earthquake load. So, may positive at negative ulit. Yung sa pang-anim, so, may wind load. So, positive negative din. Tapos dun sa pang pito. So, ganun din. Positive and negative yung sa earthquake. So, solve lang natin to lahat. So, ito yung magiging sagot. So, ang pipiliin natin dyan, yung absolute value. Kasi yung positive at negative naman, indication lang yun ng direction. At may kita nyo dyan, observe natin ano yung highest value. Yun yung 802.947 kN. So, yun yung magiging sagot natin. So, yun yung mag-govern na log combination. Na yung sagot ay 802.947 kN. Para naman dun sa ASD. So, ito yung mga load combinations. Substitute natin yung values. So, meron may dalawang equation din, yung positive-negative para din sa wind load, pati din sa earthquake load. Uh, solve lang natin. At yung mga values na yun. So, kung kagaya ng concept kanina, ano yung mataas na value? Kahit positive or negative? So, yung sagot naman dito, yung 571.0242 kN.